Hey guys, welcome back to another diecast video. Today I have kind of a cool car, um, kind of an early release, I guess. And that is this Cole Custer 2020 <clears throat> Quaker State 400 at Kentucky Win. And Lionel hasn't even announced this wave yet. This is wave two of 2021. Um, and how people know about this. First off, there's a picture of a, of a truck from this wave that was leaked. Then a couple days later, Stuart Haas Racing's website just had a few of these for some reason. A little bit more than a few probably. But when I saw it, um, and then I looked it up, there was only a few left. And then like 10 minutes later, they were all gone. So these went pretty quick, but I snagged one. And um, yeah, like I said, th this wave hasn't even officially been announced yet. So... You know, even if you're someone that's used to getting these authentics early, um, you know, if you're in the Charlotte area and, you know, you go to the Lionel store on the day they're announced and you get them like a month or two earlier than everyone else, I even beat those guys because, like I said, there's been no announcement on this wave yet. And I did save the packaging here. It is ripped. So um, just to show off the wave. And I was confused by the naming of the waves. I saw RW2 and it's like, oh, there must be an RW1. No, they so far this year, um, this is regular wave two. So far this year, they have just been kind of categorizing the waves. Of course, we're only two in, but they've been categorizing them. Like the first one was all uh, all star cars, and this one is all race wins, which I'm very excited about. Um, so anyway, the I just want to show off the cars in this wave slash trucks. Um, this is an exclusive in 164. Um, this is Grant and Fingers 2020 um, Daytona win. Um, I'm, I'm not sure where all these wins came from. I'm going to not guess on this. Vegas, maybe. It has confetti, so it's an early race. And it's Pennzoil, so I'm going to take a guess and say Las Vegas 2020. But like I said, that's just a guess for Joey Logano over here. Um and I think that's exclusive. Um, Chase Elliott, this one is not exclusive. I have this uh, sitting right here in the ARC. Um, but of course, if you want, like, you know, the card and stuff, you can go the Authentics route. Um, this is his uh, truck win at Charlotte uh, in May. This is another exclusive uh, Martin Truex Jr.'s Sirius XM uh, Martinsville win. Um, another exclusive Ryan Blaney's. Uh, Menard, Sylvania, whatever, uh, Talladega win. Uh, I'm going to take a guess and say Bristol, but I don't know. Um, I don't know for sure. This would probably be an exclusive. Um, this, this is a Chase Elliott car, almost definitely not an exclusive. Again, just a guess, but Daytona Road Course, maybe. Um, Daytona 500, not an exclusive. Uh, I actually still have that in the box. Um, you can see it right there. Um, and then, of course, this car, the Kentucky win. So, throw that to the side. And let's get started with the actual car. And card. Um, so, as you can see, picture of him doing a burnout in the background. Race version, Kentucky Speedway. Kentucky winner, Cole Custer, Quaker State 400. Sparta, Kentucky, July 12th, 2020. Nope. Um, then you have Victory Lane in the background. Um, July 12th. Two hours, 59 minutes, 49 seconds. Started 29th, um, 267. <laughs> that should be laps, not miles, but all right. Uh, number of cautions, 8 for 42. Um, and Cole Custer led five laps with a margin of victory of 0 0.271 seconds. So anyway, um, this is a raced version, but there's not a ton to go off of. I would... I was kind of half expecting because, you know, kind of the famous move is that he made four wide on like two laps to go or the last lap or something like that and kind of ran into someone on this side. And you can't really see that. So obviously it wasn't that much uh, damage. You see a little bit of something right there, which I would guess that's probably what it is. But that is like so, so minor <laughs> that you can barely even notice it. You see a tiny bit of, you know rubber around here but not a ton in fact this is about the most you get on this side around this back tire so like i said um and you actually do get 
it looks like a little fuel leakage uh, there as well now looking at this but really to get this car um, of course as I said it is a raced version but you would mostly get it because it's the only way to get this paint scheme in my opinion um, because there's really not much race damage to go around like I said this side this back here is the biggest thing with the fuel spillage and the uh, the tire here and other than that there's really not much um, but uh, like I said I I'm still happy to have it because as I said it is the only way to get this paint scheme first Cole Custer cup car I have and now I have his first win in cup that's another reason to get this first win in cup and for no that's not his first win in Xfinity that's just an Xfinity win was it his first I don't remember anymore now I gotta check even though it's not relevant to the video third okay it's Bowman that I have his first Xfinity win right above that um and I, I do have the paint scheme he won his first race in, though. That's It's not a raced version, but I have a 164 of the same paint scheme. Anyway, let's finally get on to the car itself now that we've gone over the raced version stuff. Actually, I do want to point out there is a little bit of dirt, you know, as you have with most cars. But as I said, not really too noticeable. You have a little bit of tape and whatever that white stuff is at the very bottom. Don't know. But um, the main color of this car is this metallic looking gray, which actually looks really nice. I do enjoy it. On the side, you have a little bit of a pattern, kind of like a net sort of pattern is the best way I can describe it. You can see the little diamonds there. It looks like looking through a catch fence, but it's only around like this little area right here because it's not anywhere else. It is on the other side in the same spot, but it's like pretty much around this logo, it looks like. Um... Then you have the black splitter, you have black side skirts, have this design, uh, black with red outline, kind of spike, spiking there. Then this one goes through the tire all the way to the back. This one kind of starts behind the number and goes whoosh. Then it almost looks like it kind of breaks apart, which I think is kind of a cool effect, almost looking like confetti, where it just breaks apart there. I have another little one up here. This one kind of has old NASCAR logo vibes with the two little stripes at the end. Um, and then that spike just goes to the uh, Haas Tooling logo. Um, then the black on the bottom does go all the way around. And right above the NASCAR Salutes logo, because um, this was just after the 4th of July, so you still have the NASCAR Salute stuff. Um, you have the red outline and then black all the way up the A post all the way down the B post, um, right down the C post until you get to the Mobile One logo. Then the entire roof is also black. All of the numbers are red with white outline and a black shadow outline. Of course, the shadow's impossible to see on the roof. Then you have these tools. Um, I'm not going to guess what they are. I'm not <laughs> smart in that category, but you have a bunch of tools on the hood. One, two, three, four. Then you have it one on the side there as well, the quarter panel. But sponsors, you have Haas, HaasTooling.com, Haas, um, forget what that is. It almost looks like Colorado State University. Is that a part of it? it one Cure, that's what it is. I forget. Is that a part of Colorado State for some reason? Because that's what the logo looks like to me. Um, Jacob Companies, SEM, Rush Truck Centers, that looks like Exalta, but I'm pretty sure it's not. I can't tell that one. I was lucky to get the other ones. Mobile One on the C post. B post. Ford, Mobile One, Rust Truck Centers, Hunt Brothers Pizza. I don't know what that other one is. Um, on the back, Mobile One down here in the corner. Hostooling.com. You have another one of those tool, tool logos there. Hostooling.com on both the roof and deck wood. So anyway, as I said, pretty cool car reasons to get it even though it's you know a raced version doesn't have that much race detail you do have the dirt you have the fuel and you have this one little tire rub thing right there um reason to get it you know as i said exclusive paint scheme that's kind of the reason i love it first cup win um cole custer win um it's authentic so you get this card with it you can display i use these old stands that don't even match to display these um, so yeah, 
I think it's pretty cool. And as I said, it's or you know, it's cool to get you know an authentics car before the wave is even announced. So yeah. So anyway, that is it for me. Thank you so much for watching, and I will see you all later.